Kurita Johnson knows what it's like to have a child sick with malaria. On Bioko Island in Equatorial Guinea, nearly every mother does. In 2003, the malaria parasite infected more than 45% of residents. That's when U.S. energy companies joined the battle. They needed healthy workers to develop oil and gas fields near the island. We had a very aggressive plan to expand it so we'd have a business that will last for at least 20 or 40 years. And by doing that, we became the largest employer on the island. Malaria was clearly you know, the biggest challenge that we would face uh, as an employer, but also the community has been facing. With their money, long-term outlook, and data gathering skills, energy companies gave Bioko Island something else, hope. Spraying of homes saved lives. So did mosquito nets. Educational programs and community involvement also helped. But for every control measure, the malaria parasite and its mosquito carriers had a counterattack. Without a vaccine to interrupt transmission, malaria wasn't going away. Dr. Stephen Hoffman understands that better than anyone, and he knows the statistics. Malaria kills more than 400,000 people yearly worldwide. The level of malaria transmission on Bioko Island before the Bioko Island Malaria Control Project went into place was as high as it is anywhere in the world and much higher than most places in the world. That's the face of malaria to me when I look at those numbers. It's not just numbers. It's the children that I've seen who died of malaria that I couldn't do anything about. Hoffman founded Scenaria in 2003 to develop a malaria vaccine. Some experts scoffed at his ideas. But in 2007, a vaccine was ready for trial. Results fell far short of expectations. Funding evaporated. Hoffman was convinced the trial protocol, not the vaccine, was the problem. Now he needed funding and a place to conduct a new clinical study. He found both on Bioko Island. Added Hope came in 2012. The National Institutes of Health in the U.S. showed Hoffman's vaccine was effective. But would it work in a malaria hotspot like Bioko Island? Testing in 2015 and 2016 showed the vaccine provided protection for at least 14 months. In this case, Equatorial Guinea has been seen as a country with a big opportunity. A big opportunity to help our own country and our population, yes. But also an opportunity to be able to help all of Africa. For mothers like Purita Johnson, it can't come soon enough.